Hi everybody, my name is Francis. Um, normally I would say this is Guru Francis or Big Boy Spumador, but today I'm just gonna say I'm Francis. Cause I kinda wanna just share a little bit of myself, the raw, the rawness of of myself and the struggles that I go through. Um, I guess the, the if there was one word just to summarize how I feel um, is fear, I'm scared. Um, you know, I was, pretty much growing up my whole life I was pretty much a, an obese obese person a morbidly obese person um uh, I was also a premature child so actually maybe not my whole life that was probably the only time in my life that I wasn't that I was below the target weight um but it's something that I've always struggled with um and then growing up I was always told because I was a big kid that you know you're gonna die at 20 maybe 21 years old you know, to hear that as a five-year-old, you're like, what? That's You mean you tell me I only have 15 years, 15 years left to live? It was very scary. And, um, you know, I was in, I was, um, I was a very sickly kid because I was a premature. I had asthma. I, I still have asthma. I have asthma and rheumatic fever. Um, you know, so I was in and out of the hospital all the time. So because of that, my parents uh, barely let me out because they were afraid that I'm going to get sick, even even more sick. And even though I still got sick, um, I still got rushed to the hospital many times. Um, my parents were afraid of that. And then when we moved to America, uh, when I was nine years old, I got, you know, I got better treatment, better medication. So I got a lot healthier. But the weight thing was still here. The The, the weight was still a struggle. Uh, going to junior high, I dreaded mile day, which is every Friday we have to run a mile. Um, you know, I, I would get people, I mean, the, my average mile time was about 17 minutes. That's how slow I was. I mean, if I walked in, if, if I walked any slower, I'd be going backwards. And then I would have teachers that said, I can't believe I could walk 12 minutes of a mile. And, you know, they, they would, you know, they think that that's a way to encourage me, but you know, I didn't, I, of course, at the time, I didn't know that, but their just, their encouragement was really more of a discouragement because I don't know how else to walk faster. Um, the one thing, though, that I will give myself props to, even though I dreaded Mile Friday, I still showed up on Mile Fridays and I still walked as slow as I did. I never quit on that one, though. So that's, you know, on that one. But I dreaded it. I hated it. I absolutely hated it. Um, and then uh, getting to high school, uh, I think my uh, in high school it was a little bit different only because my father died when I was in high school. So my uh, my focus was not so much the physical, but the emotional. Um, but it was still a very much of a struggle. And then in my, you know, and then I and then when I graduated from high school, I was, I was 18 years old. Um, and then I was like, oh, man, I only have two, maybe three years left to live. So 19 came, 20 came, and 21 came. And I was like, okay, I'm going to die now, you know. Uh, it's still in the back of my head that I was going to die then. But then 22 came, 23, 24. Now I'm 42, and I'm still here. But there are many, I mean, I've been posting a lot of videos about showing about how, you know, I put up this really brave mask of this really brave face about like, you know, like screw the society kind of thing. But I'm not going to lie. It is, it, it's scary. And there are days, I mean, I'm sure just like a lot of people that are, that, that are in the world out there, that there are days that when I look in the mirror and I don't like what I see, um, I look at the mirror and I say, wow, you're, you're pathetic. You're ugly. You're fat. Um, why aren't you dead yet? it's hard and I'm sure uh, and there were days that I just stay in bed because I just don't like it you know um but I I the one thing that, that brings peace in my heart is that one I am made in God's image two that because I'm made in God's image that me and God doesn't make mistakes that he made this uh, there's a purpose for me to look like this and i do believe that everything is designed and made to gl give glory to god um so what is my purpose why did god make me the way i am well i'm not saying that this is what it is but i all i know is is that i've been struggling with my weight my whole life 
I even did the surgery uh, science and I was even followed by National Geographic uh, throughout my surgical journey. Um, it suffice to say that I'm still a big person. I'm still a morbidly obese person. Um, but it was a struggle. It was still a very much of a struggle. But now the peace that comes into my heart is knowing that if I'm not dead yet, then that means God has still has a purpose for me. And if the purpose may be is for me to um, share my story and share my struggles and hopefully encourage somebody else to know that they have, they're not alone in this, then maybe it's worth it. I don't know. So to all the people who might be watching this, I'm Francis. I'm a, I'm a morbidly obese person who struggles with it every single day. And so if you're in the same boat as I am or the same situation or similar situation, I hope that you know you're not alone, that you're, the way you're feeling is not alone. So if there's anything I could ever do to, to kind of encourage and, and support, um, you know, uh, your you know, fighting your, your inner demons, I hope that I can help in some particular way. You will be in my prayers, which is the best thing I can ever do anyway. But if there's anything I can do, just let me know. Um, the struggle is real. The struggle is real and you don't have to go through the, the real struggle alone. My name is Francis. Good night.